Hey everybody, it's Dave Juno. How y'all doing? Um, from Aeneas Disease Warrior. Today, let's talk about tinnitus. Okay, um, because I've seen posts about tinnitus and, and things like that. Now, I can only talk about what I know and what I've experienced. I, I, I really haven't done exactly a ton of research on tinnitus. Um, I do have it. I have it in both ears. Um, my left is worse than my right. And you think it wouldn't be where it had a labathectomy, but yeah, it's worse. It hums, it's loud, it gets super loud to the point where I can't even hear um, anything. All I hear is like that. Now, the way tinnitus was explained to me is that it comes from your brain. It's really not part of your inner ear that makes it. What happens is, is the way the doctor explained to me was sound comes into your ear, it goes to your brain and processes it, and that's what you hear. Um, and certain frequencies with Meniere's disease and other, you know, even other inner ear disorders, um, they can't pick up that, that frequency, and it comes back as tinnitus. It comes back, you know, brain can't process it. It picks it up, says, what's this? I don't understand. Then it comes back as... It, you know, yeah, it sounded like a fax machine there. But that's how it was explained to me. So on my left ear, yeah, no wonder why I got raging tinnitus most of the time is because I, I, no I have no labyrinth anymore. Um, so the sounds that it picks up, my brain can't process them. So that makes sense. And in the right ear where certain frequencies I just can't hear. Um, and yeah, I get the tinnitus and I do get the boring, not as bad as it left. Um, loud buzzing, stuff like that. Um, today, right now, it's not that bad. Um, last night, it was awful when I was trying to go to bed. Um, as a matter of fact, I, I stayed up longer. Just hopefully it would go away. Um, and it did seem to calm down after a while. But, you know, is there anything that can be done about tinnitus? I don't think so. Um, you know, I've, my doctors explained to me that Valium can help. Um, because it helps your nervous system. Okay, this is all based on nerves going to your brain. So yeah, Valium will calm your nervous system down. Um, Clonopin will do the same thing. Um, so that can help. Valium does help me when it's really bad, I will take a Valium and it will help. Um, I do take a vitamin B complex, which I'm having pretty good luck with it. Um, the, the vertigo has, has really subsided a bit because um, I'm getting that from my right ear now. So that's kind of calmed down a little bit. And I do notice that tinnitus isn't that bad and sometimes it's, it's gone. It's gone for a little bit. Um, so they do say vitamin B does help the nervous system. Might be something you might want to look into. Um, there's another product called flavonoid um, that I believe is, is like a complex B vitamin. Um, and that seems to help a lot of people. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about flavonoid, um, but like, is I mean, and some hearing aids can, can block it out with, um, they get the white noise thing. Um, I tried it on my, I don't know, where'd they go? They disappeared. <laughs> oh, well. Ugh, one of my hearing kids probably took them. Um, hello. <laughs> I can't find them. I don't know, maybe, oh, here they are. <laughs> Um, I've tried that with these, my Samsung Buds Galaxies that I use as hearing aids sometimes. Um, I've tried the white noise. And it helps somewhat, not a lot. So I have tried it. Um, so that doesn't really cut it that much. Um, but yeah, tonight is, is a very, it's one of those things. It's just, it's, it's hard, it's hard to, um, to get rid of or to, or to control um, it really is because you can, you can have, you know, no salt diet, no sugar diet, um, blah, 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 do everything right and still get the tinnitus. So it's, it's just one of those things that it's, it's up and down and it can make you crazy. 
and yeah, it does. My wife knows when my um, tinnitus is really bad. Uh, I start snap. I snap because I can't hear, and it's it's not uh, that I'm mad like at her or mad at somebody. I'm frustrated <laughs> with myself to the point where I don't want to talk. Please don't talk to me. I can't even hear you. Um, yeah, so it's really you know when I when it's really bad, I snap. I, I get very frustrated because um, it's debilitating. It, it really is. There are times I got to go lie down. Um, you know, just because it's so bad and I shut everything off. I mean, it, my phone goes off, uh, shuts off, my televisions, computers, everything's off and I am just lying down with my dogs. That's it. Um, so yeah, d as far as tinnitus goes, I understand it, you know, it's tough. And is there things that you can do about it? No, you know, just like Meniere's disease, you're gonna have good days, you're gonna have bad days. Enjoy the good, you know, um, fight through the bad. Yeah, you gotta fight through it, you know? It's not how many times you fall, it's how many times you get back up. And you gotta keep getting back up, and keep getting back up, and keep getting back up. It just doesn't pay to stay down, you know? Stay down, you're gonna be miserable. You get pick, you pick yourself up, you know? You got a new, new chance, another try. Um, you know, that's kinda how I've lived my life for the last five years. You know, um, and tinnitus can knock you down. It really can. But you know what? I always pick myself back up and off I go. Um, you know, quitters never win. And winners never quit. So I know, the, the Dave Juno cliche uh, festival. But, it, but there's a lot of truth in that, you know? And people don't seem to get it. Yeah, they're words, but you gotta live by those words. So there's a lot of truth to these words that I say. Um, you know, you gotta keep going. You gotta fight. You gotta keep going. You, you know, fight the good fight. That's what you gotta do, you know? And tinnitus is one of those things that, um, yeah, people suffer from with different ear, ear ailments. And even like if you were in the army, you don't even have an ear ailment, ailment. But, you know, the, the earplugs they gave you when you're firing those M16s, um, or, you know, M4 carbines, they gave them tinnitus because there's damage done already to the inner ear. They don't have many ears, they're not dizzy or anything, but they've got this tinnitus all the time. You know, I had a friend of mine who, um, who was a Marine for God, I don't know how long he was a Marine, 15, 20 years. And he wears hearing aids and he, he can hear, but it's to block out the white noise. He says it helps him, you know, he says I should try it. But like I said, I've tried it on this with the white noise and it doesn't help, it doesn't help me. Maybe with a hearing aid it would. So maybe I will give it a shot. But um, yeah, as far as tinnitus goes, it's a hit or miss. You know, that's the problem with the Meniere's disease and a lot of these inner ear ailments, vestibular migraines, things like that. Um, autoimmune ear disease. I think, I don't know what it's called. I don't know. But it's a hit or miss. It either works or it doesn't, you know? And you gotta live through it and fight through it and, Carry on. So on that note, I hope you all have a terrific day. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care of each other. Um, be kind to each other. That's another thing. Be kind. Um, sometimes comments can hurt people. So, yeah, be kind. It's better to be kind and pick somebody up than uh, tear somebody down. It's easier to tear somebody down, I should say, than it is to pick somebody up. It's easy to go negative than to stay positive, but stay positive, okay? And that note, take care. See you later.